subscribers welcome back to perfectly imperfect gardening and i'm tanya today i have something special for you guys do you guys remember the bed that i had the mystery things in because they all turned over and i had to find out what everything was as they grew up well some of the peppers have mature and they have fruit but this particular um pepper i'm very excited about because i never tried before so i invited my daughter Tiana to come over here and try it with me because she loves peppers too. And we also going to show you the peppers from the seed pack. So let's get going. Okay guys, this is my daughter, Tiana. She loves peppers just as much as I am, so she decided to try this pepper too. So I invited her to do the taste test with us. But this is my last season, last year peppers here, and this is the new year peppers here. I already did a video on what's inside of here, so you guys go back and check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm going to have my daughter, since her eyes way better than mine, read off what they say this pepper is. <laughs> it's called the Sugar Rush Cream Pepper. But she gonna give a description on what Baker's Creek says the pepper is. How they... Go ahead, babe. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Tiana. Okay, so it's bred by Chris Fowler, the pepper master from Wales. The short, rounded, ivory pod that Blend sugary sweet flesh with medium spicy heat. It's a versatile little pepper. The beauty heat adds dimension to dishes or make a fun little snack eating out of hand. I was watching some YouTube videos to see what they thought about the pepper before I um decided to try it. And they were saying how it tasted like apples and pears or something like that mixed with chili, with a little sprinkle of chili. But I don't know. I'm gonna try it for myself, both of us. Plus, we're gonna try to figure out what this these peppers are also. Because these are the peppers it should be. The Brute Jalokia chocolate ghost pepper. AKA the ghost pepper. Guys, I'm gonna show you a close-up picture in a minute. <laughs> Go show that. Give him a little close up on that. Yeah, you gotta go that way. <laughs> 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 yeah, just like up on that. And this one right here is the Apocalypse Scorpion Pepper. These two, I think, is up in here. But we'll see. We'll see what you guys think about that. So first, we're going to get a close-up of these peppers. Most parts of 
that yellow though. Well, we're going to try anyway, guys, to see. Okay, get the camera to him. We're going to, um, I want to do a close-up of the Let me get up. Let me get up, y'all, so I can show. See. Well, shouldn't you do that after you record? But I got to show the one I'm opening. It's going to rain. You got much time. I feel water. Well, this is the seeds Ooh. on the inside. They say that it's not that spicy, but we're going to see. Like one of the regular bell peppers with a little heat. It's like a bell pepper. It's like it's a not ready bell pepper with me. It's not sweet at all. You say sweet? A little bit. Not much. Your taste buds more hints than mine because you're blind. I mean, your other senses in there. Probably got to go a little longer to, to get the sweet one. So I'm gonna do another video update on these peppers once they get a little sweeter. Once they get a little more riper, I'm gonna do an update on this video. And I'm gonna bring her back so she can see how it tastes at its full ripeness. Guys, let's see these other try to figure out what these are. Well, now it's time to figure out what these peppers are uh, from the pictures on what I put in because I actually don't know what they are but we're going to try to figure this out. We are finna play detective and I want y'all to put in the comment what you think it is out of these peppers. Which pepper do you think it is? We already know it's not the cream, rush cream pepper so it's only two peppers left so let's figure this out okay these peppers here tiana hand are the two type of peppers these four bushes could be let's get a look do this they have flowers but they starting to get peppers flowers this bush don't have anything you know this one is definitely a different type Yeah, these, that's a different bush. This this one is a different bush. This one is a different bush. And that one right here is a different bush. See this bush here. I see a little pepper 
on here, but not enough so we can determine. Oh, we miss we can't know. Not enough that we could determine what it is, I don't think. But this big one right here, I like the way this one grew. There's a lot of them on here. Nice. What that look like? Still Ray Young. It look like it gonna. It, it look like it gonna bonk, bonk out right there, don't it? Let's see if they got any down here. I, is that the same oh, no. tree? It's yellow. I see a yellow one. That's a yellow orange. It's right, baby. Oh, it's supposed to turn. It probably turn brown. Let me see. So which one do that? It's definitely not that one. I don't think. Look like it's starting to crump, crumple a little bit. They both crumple. But look, that one got the little. Do it got a little thing sticking out of that one? I don't see it. I don't know, it's still a mystery. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Which one do you guys think it is? It's gonna be a lot of them, it's a lot of flowers. Is it any, oh, here come another one. It's that one a little more formed. I think this one gonna be a ghost pepper. But I could be wrong. It's gonna be full of them. I could be wrong, guys. I see this sign down here. What this is? Oh, wait a minute. I think that is this. Yeah. I think this bush right here is that type. Cause it looks like it. Yeah, I think that is this one. Delia pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. But I don't know about this one. This one looks like it got another form coming. What do y'all what do you guys think? I sure hope some of these are the ghost peppers in the Scorpion pepper. Not nah, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Have some more coming up here. That caraba that was sitting right there was blocking it, so we got a little slower growth than the other ones. I put the caraba over here. I moved it to here. Still growing right next to my eggplant right here, and it's starting to get flowers. Something ate the bottom leaves, but that's okay. They different types. This one got. This one has a lot of flowers. See that? Did that one look like this one? <clears throat> this is the blonde bell pepper. The plant don't look too healthy. 
but it's still trying to grow a pepper. So I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna try to get some fertilizer, something. But we'll see. Okay, guys, you got my guess, and I need you to go under the comment and put your guess what you think it is, and then we'll find out soon who's right, who's wrong, because I have no idea. But before we go, I want to share with you guys these bell peppers. The frost hat got to them. I thought that they was pretty much done, but I left them alone, and they still grew peppers. So let me show the, share that with you guys. You see right here where it has a lot of frost, it got frost damage, but the peppers are still growing everywhere on here. You're going to have a lot of peppers. Little, big, medium, everywhere, all through the creases are peppers. And I started to take them out. But I'm glad I didn't. Because it's mostly just the tips that got the damage. The other part of the plants are, are still real nice. They're getting big fast too. That's my parsley. This uh, this one right here is the flat leaf parsley. This right here is the curly parsley. You like that? Mm -hmm. What kind is that? I think you just said flat leaf. Oh, yeah. Flat leaf parsley. But let me show you the ancho peppers. They growing good too. Full of flowers. They get big. Started my seeds for this next season for spring, which is in here. And these are the millions. I'm trying out this egg crate. See how that is. They say you can just cut it and put it directly in the ground. We're going to see how that works. And these peppers here, I don't know what kind they are. Also, my daughter boss gave these to her because she have a garden um, as little plugs and I put them inside of these red cups let them grow up a little bit and then I'm going to put them in the ground where it's missing with my other plants. Right here where I took out the okra and the kohlrabi and the greens because I didn't want them in the bed with the peppers and I put them in other places I will be filling it in with that I want to thank all my subscribers, my new subscribers, my day ones. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, thank you for staying to the end of this video. Appreciate it so much. If you could take the time and hit that like button. And comment what you think those peppers were. What you think it's going to turn out to be. We're going to find out. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button so you can find out also. So thank you guys again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to see you later.